to another episode of Tribe Talks. I'm Mackenzie Reiner, and we are here with Luke Fisher, and I'm a junior at Lorna High School. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. good. How about you? I'm I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what all are you involved in in high school? Right now, I'm in track, but I'm also in wrestling, football. I'm in FFA. Um, I'm in Stuco, and also I'm a class president. Awesome. What are you looking forward to most in your senior year? Um, well, the first thing I'm excited for is like being, you know, the kind of the guy in charge and and uh, kind of being, you know, driving the car basically. I don't know in in high school, but um, I kind of am looking forward to starting a tradition. Like like I said, being in charge, you are able to do things, and and I just don't want to have this spot and do nothing with it. Like I I want to be the role model and along with my friends and my other seniors like I want to start something new right. you know what is a learned Indian and to make that a thing nice so speaking of role model and like basically being in the driver's seat you were a captain as a junior for football how often is that um not too often it happens every couple of years like one of my big role models is Logan Irway and he was a captain as a junior. Um, he's a good guy. You know, just there's something about being a role model all the time. And if you want to be something, you have to be that all the time. And uh, Logan was a big role model for me. And, and I wanted to be like just like him. But honestly, I wasn't looking to be a captain as a junior. I didn't even really vote for myself. It was just something that happened. It was kind of weird. Right. So you mentioned wrestling. What made you want to become a wrestler? Well... I started wrestling when I was about seven, and my mom put it in, put me in it because I was super hyper. Like I had some teachers trying to get me on ADHD medication, and uh, so my mom's like, "We need, we need Luke to do something during the winter so he doesn't go crazy." And and so I got put in wrestling, and uh, once once I started wrestling, it was like a duck to water. But it's it's a really cool thing because in wrestling, I've been doing it for so long. People I've known since I've been seven, eight years old, they're all on top. And it's just one of those sports. The more you do it, the better you are. So so as a junior, you won state. How did that make you feel? You know, um, I never had won state before, even before high school. And it was a really cool experience. I didn't really expect it. Like, I was the underdog, you know. Last year, I didn't do the best, and I've just had really bad luck lately. But, um if you would have asked me before the season if I would have won state, I would have said no. And it all really happened in the last couple of weeks and getting more confidence. And once it really happened, it was it was a great feeling, but it, it's a feeling I've never had before just because I've wanted it for so long. And once it happened, it was just like, you know, what's next? What am I going to do next? It, it's just a really weird feeling, but I'm, ex- I'm so excited for next year. Awesome. So how would you how would you describe winning state in one word? You know, I was thinking about this question all night last night, and honestly, like, relief. Um, I had a lot of pressure just on how I was going to do. It's mm-hmm. like coming up because I was a successful middle schooler in wrestling, and, and uh, people were always telling me how good I was going to do. And once I got to high school, I had a lot of injuries. And so... Um, I was always just so nervous because I wanted to do what the expectations thought I was going to do. And I remember talking to my coach before the season, and I was like, you know what, I don't care what everyone else thinks. I'm just going to forget about it, and I'm going to go out and wrestle. But that helped me so much. And in winning state, it's just like I've finally done it, you know. So I don't have to worry about it, but I have to worry about getting another one now. So I'm really excited for that. Awesome. So – Taking a break from sports, what is one thing you would like to change or add to our school? Well, something I brought up earlier, um, I really think it would be good to start a tradition. I'm not saying we already do, but to make the tradition even something more so. You know, um, when these freshmen come in, you know, just like I was, I'm ready to adapt and to change to how everyone else acts. And if we surround all these freshmen with good role models and we're constantly doing good, maybe that they will change. And then when they're seniors, 
they can do the same for those freshmen. I think that helped a lot. Awesome. Is there anything else you would like to add? Well, I appreciate you guys for um, letting me do this interview. It's, it's an honor. It's pretty cool. So Awesome. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Luke, for joining us, and we will see you next time. This concludes Episode 2 of Tribe Talk. Stay tuned for next week's episode with Sarah Manry and Ella McNitt.